What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons. We are back over here picking up some more trucks. Actually, I'm just picking up one right now. And then I've got one, two, three, three more to come pick up, which I'll show you guys those trucks when it comes time. For right now, we're just gonna focus on the FLD Classic and get this thing home, see how it drives, runs, you know, use it a little bit. This truck should be I mean, I should be able to put this thing on the road pretty much immediately. I gotta get a bumper for it. And then this spot right here, it's the only two spots on the whole truck that's gonna be fixed. So this is a metallic blue paint job too. Got a couple little places it's peeling, but... Oh man, I've seen that spot. I'd say a couple years we'll just have to paint it again. Have the guys, I mean, this is the one I really want taken good care of. That fifth wheel is awesome. Well, this is the one that they use for the pulling them oversized with. Big old long oversized, like for Hatch Sport. This would be a good truck for your RGA. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to set this one up for the RGA. It's already there. You just need to do the ramps and then. We'll do some ramps and we'll be good to go. Scoops, front fenders. Yep. Do this like we did it, the other one. Yep. And then when you get ready, you can take it over and have the body. This thing's clean. <laughs> Look how they put the they put the mileage they scraped the mileage in their shocks. I definitely like the way Sammy maintenance is his stuff. He takes really good care of stuff too. Well, Brax, you ready to take it home? Yeah. He's ready to drive. I just noticed it had a different wheel back here. Yep. Oh yeah, I do have all set up, don't I? Oh yeah. Told him tools, whatever. I'll take it off. All right. No, they. He's really. Sammy's really particular about stuff. Yep. All right. Them hoses is good, no rest of well.
I broke it. Huh? Did I break it? What did you do? I just started it up. That's it. You started. Yeah. I didn't use the cruise. Huh? The cruise does work. We gotta figure out why it ain't building air pressure. Give me, give me. Think it wants to leave? No, it won't leave. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take that line loose, put it over here, and take it home. Probably like, no, I want to go back home. <laughs> don't take me. This thing don't want to go with us. Or it's testing us. Like I don't know if you can handle me or not. <laughs> What do you think, Greg? Which one is it? Last one. Listen, honey, if you go home for me, I'll put a brand new bumper on you. And I won't put a smoking driver in you. I won't do none of that stuff. You will live out the rest of your life happy. Lots of horsepower. Let's go down and get a dryer and put on. Well, I mean, that's really our only option with this. Or jump the white lines over. Most any other time, we'd have a toolbox. I don't know. I almost threw mine in the truck. I didn't even think nothing about bringing tools for this thing. You broke it. I'm telling you, I just don't want to leave. This is one of their first trucks. Hey, uh, do you have a Bendix dryer? Or, uh, uh... Old truck number seven. Oh, guys, I remember this thing when I was a little kid, Braxton's age, hey, seeing this truck around. This thing, I've always been around this town. This thing's long. That looks like rust. It's just a little corrosion. They put a paint job on it. It's very what do you think about exhaust pipes, Brax? What are we gonna do about that? Um. Uh, you gotta have pipes on it, don't? It's a 
All right, guys, so Napa is going to run us a, an air dryer out here where they're going to meet us halfway because we're probably, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes away from the store. So um, if we can get this fitting out, we're going to try to just jump it over and get it home. Just run it on straight air, no dryer. But if not, worst case, we put a new dryer on it, but we broke a bowl. And this needs to be cleaned up and painted. Coming off? Oh, it's being a pain in the butt. Give me a wrench on it in a minute. Dang line just it won't spin on the line. So every time you get close, it's been back. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The co-op's right down the road. They have a truck center for sure. We'll get it. Maybe. Actually, I'd rather this happen than deal with what happens with a brand new truck. Because when they go, it's a nightmare. Probably just going to wait and put the dryer on a bit. Alright, guys, so here's the culprit. Right there. Let's see if it'll focus. Them little air valves. I mean, they just get age on them and they blow off. Which we could probably, with the one coming, we could just could change this out. But since we got a whole new one, we'll just put the new one on it. If we can get these fittings out. Say we're going to put. I think this piece was turning. It's a FLD thing because my white one did it a few times. I just like to do it. Yeah. I definitely think this needs to be the RGN truck. For sure. Make some sweet rams for it. Yep. Do the rear end all nice. The thing is, I've got, we've got the Peterbilt, we've got the cab over, now we've got this one, and all three of them I want for myself. So I've got to decide which one. I've got to just keep one for me to drive. Yep. And the other one's got to have drivers in them. We can't just have nice, pretty fancy trucks sitting around not driving them. Well, I would say you could have two of them that don't have drivers. Yeah. But not there. you got to have the third one with a driver in it. So I have to choose from the, between the Peterbilt. White cab over. And this one. I would rather have this one and the cab over. So you'd rather put the Pete on the road? I'd rather put the Pete on the road than... Which Pete? Your Pete? Your Pete? I don't know, man. That's or, just, uh, or you keep the Pete and the white one, cab over, and you put this one on the road, but when whether you want it, you just yeah. use it. We'll have a spare truck that we can throw that driver into. Yeah. That's need a really good driver in it. It's the only thing. Yeah. I'd die if they hurt this truck. I don't know why I'm such a freight on her nut, but I love that wood floor though. I do I too. It's so old school. Oh. Got a big kicker amp in it. 
It had a big speaker system in it. Your dad says we need to put a wood floor in that blue one over the farm. Yep. What do I do, guys? Put a driver in this thing or what? It have AC. I mean, it'd be a good truck. It'll get good fuel mileage. It'll do its job. I just don't want it out. I don't want this one out in the salt. Right. Summertime only. Or you could designate this to your oversize. Yeah. Designate this and your Pete to the oversize then. Whichever one you want to take that to. You. I wouldn't care to put a driver in the cab over if they took care of it. Right. I mean, I got it to work. I didn't get it. You know, find somebody that wants to go to the truck shows and stuff. And well, it's willing to work and keep it clean. Yeah. Honestly, I'd put, probably put the cab over on the road. Yeah. And that'd be a good work truck. Oh, yeah. It'd be a great work truck. Got a lower center council. Yep. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. All right, guys, we got our parts. Now we just gotta get them off. Well, at least it is winter time. We plan on putting new dryers on everything yeah. anyway. Yeah. Good work, man. All right, guys, we got it on. Jeez. Like All the electricals are hooked yeah, we'll have to up. Put that on. Yeah, that All bracket right. wasn't put on when we get back. I mean, it's solid. Guys, we had a bolt break right here. And, uh, what the heck is that? Ooh, fire nurse. It's a weird sound. Ready? Volvo, we used to do this in the FLD. We did this all the time.
his old shotgun shifter. Oh man, this thing cruises. Baby. Yeah, I love this truck. I knew I would. I think I just love every truck. Well, this sucker's geared out like we like. We're running 1250 right now at 60. trucks like this anymore. And it's smooth, comfortable, reliable, other than, you know, maybe an air dryer blowing out every once in a while. <laughs> but it hadn't been serviced since 2015. So that's what, six years, five, six years? You're always going to have little problems like that with trucks, but at least it's simple to work on. You ain't got to go take it to a dealer and have a computer up to it because your air dryer blew out. This thing's just smooth, good jake brakes, and you can actually hear the jake brakes. Got power, like you just, I mean, this thing got some power. Listen to them jakes. Man, that just, oh. Here comes the power, baby, right boom. are just a freaking classic that you don't want damaged you know uh, these are trucks that like this one here is something i would love to turn into like a show truck i mean yeah it's just an old fld that nobody ever thought would be sought after but i love these trucks this is my peterbilt to most people I've got a truck addiction, I can tell you that. I've got way too many daggone trucks. I think we got like almost 30 trucks now.
People can say what they want about a 60 series. To me, they're the best daggone engines ever produced. That thing just lugged down, pull right out of it. Somebody had a big oil spill here a couple weeks ago and they've got this sand and rock everywhere. So you hear this little air leak? It's a very, very common thing on these um, FLDs. Driver ID clear, yes. Man, I can't believe that thing works. That is so awesome. So guys, are these things pretty accurate? So I know this is more of a before my time kind of thing. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, and I've never had one that works. So that thing working is pretty cool. So kind of tell me how it works and they're accurate and all that uh, for you guys that I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that remember running these old trucks all right guys now that we got the FLD home I want to go ahead and talk about what we're going to do with it and also I am looking to hire a driver for it so it's got to be somebody that is just a hundred percent truck because this thing I want it kept clean I want it taken care of this thing is now a classic you know it's you don't you don't find FLDs like this anymore, and especially this one. So this is a pure, full-blown owner-operator spec truck. It's got all the gauges. It runs like a, a Scarlet Eagle. Uh, I mean, the truck is it's awesome. For a true truck lover, that right there is probably a dream truck to drive. So I'm going to run it a few weeks. I'm going to pull the, the cattle pod with it. i got some loads I'm going to go do with Travis. And then shortly after that, I'm gonna put a driver in it. So start and pay here, and you start out at the bottom. You don't ever, we don't ever put anybody at the top. I don't care how much experience you got, how good you are. We always start out at 50 cents a mile. Um, once you start out here, you get bonuses um, right off the rip. If you go out and get a good inspection at a scale house or a roadside inspection, if you pass a level one inspection, it's 500 bucks. All right, and then it goes from there. So level one, level two, level three. So a level three inspection, you get a bonus for that too. That's paperwork and driver check, which is a, your most common inspection. So we get bonuses for that. Um, we give Christmas bonus, stuff like that. We definitely try to take care of our drivers. And if you come in here and you're an awesome driver, I can send you out with a cattle pod, go haul a load of cattle. Uh, you come in and say, hey, brother, go hook to the RGN and go take this track hoe to Knoxville. Um, if you're that kind of driver and you take care of my truck, keep it clean, all that good stuff, you will rise the ranks pretty quickly. And, you know, as, if you do that, you get more pay. 
You know, we base our pay here on what you can do and how good you drive, how well you keep the truck clean, all that good stuff. So, uh, but we do start you out at 50 cents a mile. So next thing is the, the cab over, the little, you know, the white international cab over that I traded the W9 for. I'm also looking for a driver for that truck, which will also be pulling either boats, cattle pod, it will not be pulling the RGN because that truck don't hook to the RGN. So I'm not going to mess up the fiberglass on it. I'm going to leave it like it is and just let it pull those two trailers, either boats or it will hook to the cattle trailer and it looks awesome hooked to it. Let me just tell you, that thing looks amazing hooked to that trailer. So I'm going to hire a driver to drive that as well. Same thing, 50 cents a mile. You rise the ranks, you get paid more, you get the bonuses, the whole nine yards. So if you're looking for a job, and you want to apply, um, you got to send us an email. Send it to Jade, which is J-A-D-E, at gentryandsonstrucking.com. And I will put that down in the description as well as right here below my finger. Right down here. I'm going to put it right there. Um, one thing about hiring here. All right. I do have a YouTube channel. We do pull million-dollar boats. So hiring's a little bit different here. I do have to check you out really good because I've had guys, I literally flew somebody down here one time. The guy, I asked him up front, I said, hey, I said, do you have anything on your MVR? Do you have any tickets? Do you have any accidents? Because if you do, you know, my insurance, to have the kind of insurance that we have, um, it's, it's not easy to get. And you have to keep a perfect record you can't have guys out there getting speeding tickets. You can't ha have guys out there getting in accidents. Like you literally have to keep it just as spotless as you possibly can. So we have to hire good drivers. So I blew the guy down here. He said that, oh yeah, perfect record, you know, so much experience, blah, 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 blah. Um, so we sent off for his MVR to the insurance company and he got here and they come back and they're like, you know, it's gonna be like $6,000 to add him. He's got two accidents, you know, speeding tickets. I mean, this guy's MBR looked like, I mean, it was like three pages long. And I was like, holy crap, you told me you had a clean MBR. And he's like, oh, well, this falls off this day and this falls off next month. And I'm like, man, I'm like, I can't, you know, that's $6,000. And on top of that, how do I know you're not gonna go out here speeding and destroy one of these boats? So, I paid for all that, and then it was a very awkward situation. He was down here for like two days before we could find him a flight. It was just a, it was a nightmare. So when it comes to hiring, I'm a little bit of a, I'm kind of particular, um, <clears throat> and for good reason, because I mean, this stuff here is, it's expensive freight, and I can't afford to have accidents. I can't afford having somebody out there running like an outlaw. You know, you gotta do your logs. That is one thing the girls in the office are super particular about is logs. We do run paper logs and we want to continue to run paper logs. So our paper logs, you know, if they come in and audit them, they have to be right. So we don't take any chances with that. Our logs have to be perfect. So we don't run like outlaws. You know, we do get really good mileage in. You know, you don't have to worry about getting miles here but we're also not gonna have somebody come in here that wants to try to run 5,500 miles a week. So that's kind of the, the gist of it. No outlaws, just be honest up front. If you apply, tell me up front, hey, I've got a speeding ticket and this is what happened. Or, hey, I had an accident, you know, it wasn't my fault or it was my fault. You're gonna save us both a lot of time and a lot of aggravation because it sucks when you have somebody come in to hire them, spend all that time and money on drug tests and, you know, the whole nine yards and getting their own VRs. And, you know, that costs us money. I don't charge it to the drivers. We pay for every bit of it. We pay for all the orientation. You know, if you have to come here and get a motel room, we pay for that. We pay for your food. We pay for your travel. We let you use one of our vehicles. So, you know, please be up front with us <clears throat> because we will have to check you out. We will find out no matter what. So, and that's been our biggest issue is people want to come here. It just seems like the ones here lately, 
uh, don't want to be forthcoming with information and it's just, it's kind of aggravating for the girls to go through all the crap and then deal with that. So, like I said, if you're looking to drive a truck, you want a good job, starts out 50 cents a mile, that's loaded and empty mile. That's every mile that you run and you get your bonuses, your load, unload, you know, keep the truck clean. I pay just about anything. If you keep the trailer you know, put your straps up, put the steel up like you're supposed to, put the pins where they go. You know, we pay you for cleaning the trailer up when you drop your load. Um, our guys make really, really good money here. And if, if you're a good driver, you will rise really quick in pay. I mean, you could be, if you're a 60 cents a mile driver and you prove it to us and you're willing to work for it, then you can get it. So endless opportunities here. We are growing every day. We're putting as, I mean, if, if I grow to 100 trucks, we grow to 100 trucks. Um, you know, my dream is to have 500 trucks one day, and hopefully it happens. So, and the only way it's going to happen is if we keep a good tight ship and we don't try to be outlaws and destroy our authority in two years. Um, and, you know, every day we try to upgrade. We're trying to upgrade our equipment. I will never go to the new emissions trucks, but I will put nice trucks on like these here so um, we are going to put some chrome on it we're going to put chrome mud flaps um, quarter fenders we're going to move the toolbox back put stacks on it um, the truck turned out really nice inside uh, i mean it really did this thing looks it's clean all the gauges cleaned up good the floor cleaned up really good um it looks good in the back I just ordered a really nice mattress for it. Um, I did get another Bostrom seat on its way. So we're gonna put a, a Bostrom wide ride over here as well. So um, it will be a nice truck. When a driver goes in this thing, it'll be polished and buffed out and ready to rip. I'm gonna run it for a couple weeks, make sure she's good to go, go through the ropes like I always do with these trucks and uh, I don't know. I just want to go pull some cows and, you know, me and Travis can run together and my buddy Kevin. So that's what I'm going to do for the next couple weeks. We're going to run a few loads of cows here and there. But anyways, guys, that is going to finish off today's video. Here she is. I really, really love this truck. And I'm glad that we're uh, bringing it on and adding it part of the fleet. And I hope you guys like it as well. And if you want to apply jade at gentryandsonstrucking.com and there is some more jobs opening up uh, and i will talk about them as we go so um, this is the first one and then we've got like three or four more positions that's getting ready to open up so guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video we love y'all and as always have a good day